What is up, ladies? Today we are going to talk about the power of eating enough for performance and recovery. I want to say this is one of my favorite topics, but in all honesty, anytime I get to talk about the power of eating enough on all of the things we do as humans and as athletes and as women, I get excited because most of the time showing women uh, how to be in maintenance and how to optimize maintenance to get the results they want is extraordinary because once you get them comfortable with it, all of a sudden they see how good they feel and they're not binging anymore. They have energy in the gym. They're sleeping amazing. The hormone cycles are normal and it's incredible. And I'm going to talk to you today about specifically what that looks like when you are training and when you are recovering and why it can be so impactful to make sure you're getting enough. So when we're eating enough, uh, you are able to go harder in the gym. You're able to lift heavier. You're able to go longer. And maybe that longer means you're able to go for 20 to 30 minutes in a Metcon. Or maybe now we're talking about doing two sessions a day if you're becoming competitive um, or if you're just CrossFit obsessed, which a lot of us are. And it allows you to recover quicker, uh, quicker from rep to rep quicker from Metcon to Metcon, and quicker from day to day. So eating enough for training is truly extraordinary. When you go harder and longer, your metabolism also goes up post-exercise. So you not only see the impact right away when we're getting in an adequate amount of carbohydrates and protein for our training sessions and throughout our day. But you also see some really awesome effects pretty quickly because when you go harder, your body has to recover from that intensity, that effort, right? So all of a sudden, when I put that effort into the gym, my body has to recover. So my metabolism is going to be up post-training to start facilitating that recovery. It's really incredible. It's called the post I always screw this up. The excess post-exercise oxygen consumption, um, and it has a whole bunch of things that happen, but basically, uh, again, your system has to recover from what we've done, and that recovery requires fuel. So the harder you push, the faster your metabolism gets to be after training. Adequate protein and carbs gives your body what it needs to repair the damage done in training. This is extremely important from a recovery standpoint, especially if you notice a lot of soreness post-training. So um, what happens when we train, let's say when we lift, right? We go and we lift the weights and our, we intentionally go uh, harder, higher reps or we lift heavier weight. What that does is it creates small micro tears in your muscle. Those small micro tears need to be repaired. And our body says, okay, hang on. So you cause that damage. Let me build that muscle up bigger and stronger. And so it builds it up a little bit bigger and stronger. And that's how we gain strength, right? We build a bigger muscle. But building that bigger muscle requires requires an adequate amount of fuel. If we're constantly in a deficit, if we're constantly trying to lose body fat, but we're in the gym and we're pushing hard in training, our body doesn't have, our bodies <laughs> doesn't have what it needs to recover and to adequately build that muscle out. So we often will find that our bodies have to to borrow from the muscle we have to repair the muscle we've damaged. And then we end up chasing our own tail. So getting in an adequate amount of food allows you to keep training, right? So if you're sore, you might not want to go to the gym, but imagine if you were getting enough in and your soreness was less, now all of a sudden you get to go in the next day and push with a similar intensity level. Um, and maybe you, know, you get to go harder or longer because you've allowed your body to recover properly and given it what it needs to recover. Uh, it also helps us have a healthy immune system. This is something that we can talk about across the board, how it impacts uh, making sure our body has what it needs to create a defense against things. But from a training standpoint, if I'm in a calorie deficit 
and I'm going and stressing my body out with fitness, which, which is a positive stress, but a stress nonetheless, right? My body doesn't have what it needs to repair from training. And then all of a sudden on top of that, it's exposed to say a cold virus. Now I'm asking it to work twice as hard to do two things. And I haven't even given it enough to do the one thing, right? So our immune systems can be fatigued if we're not eating enough. And again, uh, making sure that we have enough allows our body to properly recover from that training day. Now, muscle, excuse me, protein is needed to repair that muscle, but carbohydrates are what our body uses for the energy, for the fuel to repair that muscle tissue. So it's super important to get both. And then we also want to have enough food in our systems for our body to make the hormones that we need to do the fitness. So even as women, we have testosterone. I actually just learned that uh, estrogen is made from testosterone. So if we don't have the food to make appropriate amount of hormones now we're going into the gym we don't we're we don't have enough of the stuff we need to to do the exercise right um so you know you might notice like maybe in your hormone cycle around ovulation our testosterone levels go up it's a great time to push because that peaking testosterone but maybe i'm not making as much as i could be because my body doesn't have enough fuel on board to push to uh, make that testosterone. So I'm making sure that I get in enough so I have all of my healthy hormone levels so that I can optimize my training and my performance. This is my favorite part of all of this. Uh, I can tell you without fail, the majority of my clients when I get them eating an adequate amount of food actually start to get the results they want. And this is a very common theme because of all of the stuff I just talked about. If we get enough, our bodies can repair from the damage that is done in the gym, which means that I'm building that muscle, which means my metabolism is faster. My body is less stressed, which means I don't produce as much cortisol. Cortisol breaks down muscle. So if I manage those cortisol levels, now I'm not chasing my tail. Uh, eating enough allows me to produce enough estrogen and testosterone, which I need to be able to push in the gym and recover well. It allows me to sleep. It's, it's really a profound thing to get out of the diet mentality and start to wonder how much food can I eat? How much food does my body actually need? And then what will that do for my life and for us as CrossFitters and weightlifters, for my performance. How much weight can I lift? How strong can I get? How much muscle can I build? And then we start to go, okay, you know, let's be proud of eating 3,000 calories instead of feeling like we always have to under eat to be skinny. Let's build the muscle and then our bodies use fat at rest because we have a faster metabolism. It's really incredible. I know I nerd out. Um, but yeah, I hope uh, as you go along with this maintenance sequence, or if you're someone just found this video on YouTube, that you are curious about what eating enough uh, for your training could look like. And then let's explore that and let's see the power of lots of food. All right. Thank you for watching. Hit us up if you have any questions.